Ciao svima, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefan. You can find me on Instagram by the name Stefan T T T or in English Stefan T T T and today I'm reacting to another song that will compete in Eurovision Song Contest 2021 and the country this song will represent is Switzerland. Now, if you want to know what I think about this song and the music video, what are my expectations, my opinions, and of course my final rating of it, then keep on watching. <laughs> so we have another returnee from last year, Gion, or somewhere I read that his name is pronounced like the English name John. Please write me in the comments down below, how do I say this guy's name? Is it John? Is it Gion? Let me know. I'm gonna use John in this video because obviously it is easier. Last year's song was called Repond de moi, again if I said it correctly, and that one really blew my mind and it really showed me what this young man is capable of. His vocal abilities are incredible. His way of singing about the dark emotion and transferring that kind of energy to us is insane. I was really sorry that I didn't get to see him on Eurovision stage. However, there were some live performances that I saw online and they were mesmerizing. Nevertheless, here he is again this year and this time he is not missing a spot on that Eurovision stage in May. This year's song is called Tout l'univers. Again, if I said it correctly, and I believe that this means the whole universe. Now, knowing what is he capable of, my expectations for this man are really high, since last year's song was probably amongst my top five. Is this one going to be on my top list again? Let's find out. I must say that I am as hungry as a wolf. It is time for dinner now. And I can see a little red riding hood here in the screen looking at me. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck did I just say? Nevertheless, let's go. Jong, Hyun, tout l'univers. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. All right. Of course, it is a ballad. Like uh, this voice, this is magical, magical voice. It's so clean, pure, lovely. And listen to that piano, just bum, bum, bum. A dramatic ballad, obviously. So he's on the floor, on the street, where is he? Beautiful piano. Again, I... like uh, oof, 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 uh, something. I I feel something here. Like it's like I have hair on my forehead. Every bit in my body is uh is shaking right now. It is. Oh, uh, so it's a car accident. Okay. Uh, so, uh, okay, <laughs> alright, uh, this is going to be tough. Uh, so, I feel like this is the experience he feels out of his body, right? So it is the car accident, he's laying there, there on the street and his soul is transferring to the universe. Let's see. Beautiful visuals, beautiful. Things like this can be really tacky, but this is done in such a beautiful way. Que 
I like this, uh, this pom 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 pom. Maybe it's like a heartbeat in the background. I, yeah. Yes, it is a heartbeat. Pom 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 pom. Uh huh. It has the upbeat. It, it is building slowly. I love the drums, boom, boom, boom. like this is so dramatic. The whole experience he... Uh, <clears throat> the whole experience he goes through this video and is actually sharing with us, I am on the same ride there. <laughs> This falsetto, this is the falsetto of the god himself. I love the drums. Uh huh. Wow. hair in my body is up right now this was this was really something this was really something else out of this world and yet again this guy did the impossible to be on the same level as he was last year even though that was so perfect my thoughts are going in all sorts of directions right now but what i can conclude by watching this video it is a beautiful story in not such beautiful experience he really took us to a possible mindset of a person who is this close of losing his life and this scene in the end where he actually puts himself up do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Harry Potter uh, in the third part of the movie, or in the books, whatever you prefer, uh, where Harry is fighting all the Dementors near the lake to save Sirius Black, and the other Harry is actually watching from the bushes, waiting for his father to come and save them with the Patronus, but actually he is his own angel. Harry saves himself like John did here. John is his own savior, which is quite powerful. In the end of the day, all we have are we. And we need to be the ones that need to lift ourselves up. Maybe this message is not really the point of the video, but that's what I just concluded at this moment. This song, in a way, reminds me of Duncan Lawrence, especially with the falsettos and this song is basically written to win the Eurovision. Now, is it going to win this year's Eurovision? I am really not sure. It is a strong year and dare I say it is stronger than last year. And as far as this song is concerned, music-wise, uh, instruments-wise, vocal-wise, it is magnificent. It is really the work of art. But I do have one concern here. John is really good at giving us the certain type of emotion, but this year he again touched that darker side. So I find this in a way repetitive. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this, but it is kind in the same realm as the last year's song. It's basically like the second part of it which can be quite good, but for Eurovision, a lot of people may find it like something they already seen, and 
can find it boring. I don't find it boring. This really grabbed me in the moment, but I am really trying to look from the outer perspective of an average viewer from home. In the end of the day, I really hope that everybody are going to appreciate this. Juries definitely will, and that this song will rank high because honestly, it really deserves. It is a piece created to rank pretty high, and that's pretty much obvious. Some people will not like it for that, but I just like it for what it is, a piece of art. Therefore, drum rolls, please. <laughs> My final rating for Switzerland this year is going to be a 9. As I said, it is perfect, but in the end of the day, this is a music video, and you know that here I don't give higher rates than 9.5 for a music video. I always want to leave that empty gap for a performance to see what kind of energy and what kind of moment I will feel while I'm watching the person perform. This doesn't have that zero and a half because as much as it is beautiful, it's still not the type of song that I will listen later. Beautiful in the moment, but not like Duncan Lawrence's song. I still listen to that song up until today. For this one, beautiful, but that's it. I don't want to listen to it again, unfortunately, because it is song made for competition to win and to rank high. Therefore, this time it's going to be a nine, but good luck, Jong Gyeon. Thank you for competing again. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching me one more time. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new content. And tell me, what do you think about this song? Did you like it? Do you prefer the last year's? Tell me everything because I am certainly reading every single comments you leave down under. Thank you one more time and see you in the next video. Bye.